743, welcome back to Daybreak. Valerie Harper from the Mary Tyler Moore Show was recently diagnosed with cancer. She says she refuses to give up hope, but there's no cure for the rare type of cancer she has, leptomeningeal carcinomatosis, a condition that spreads when cancer cells get into the fluid-filled membrane surrounding the brain. Here to talk more about this rare type of cancer, our friend from Cancer Treatment Centers, Dr. Jack. Thank you so much for thank being you. here. You've brought in a prop to kind of show us what happened? This type of cancer is rare. A lot of times, a patient starts with breast or lung or melanoma, those types of cancer, and then what happens? So what happens is that it spreads into the spinal fluid. So here's an example of the brain. I would borrow some props from my wife. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, so this is this would obviously be the skull, right, that's the, the head, skull. and you've got a spinal cord. Right. So why'd you peel off the skull itself? If we make a small incision, okay. and below that there's a skull cap. And then these are the different layers of the brain here that you're taking a look at. So if we peel back the outer layer, this is called the dura. It's the hardest layer of the brain. And uh, if we pull that area up, you can see that below this is another layer. And okay. this layer b below this is uh, called the pia matter. It's, it's something that c protects the brain because there are multiple layers in the brain itself, which keeps it insulated from the environment. Now, the other, uh, below this is where the cancer actually occurs. So within the spinal fluid itself, what ends up happening is that the cells get into the brain and it circulates around this fluid, spreading to the different parts such as the brain and the spinal cord. And eventually what ends up happening is that it, send, it sets up shop within the different parts of the brain such as the, the, uh, the ventricles itself, the uh, spinal column. And then that results in some of the symptoms that you would see. So this is a really difficult cancer to treat because it's essentially a moving target. It didn't originate in the brain. It got yes. into the fluid, traveled in, and then it's moving around. So how do you treat it? So there are different ways of treating this, one of which involves injecting chemotherapy directly into the brain itself. So you can place a small device into the brain, which allows you to gain access. And by injecting chemotherapy into the brain, then what ends up happening is that you can try to control it. However, it really depends on how good they are with their disease, such as if they're doing well, then it, they may respond. But long term, it's not very good. Doctors have told Valerie Harper the prognosis is not good. I mean, they're saying 18 months, maybe. That's about right. And that, that's the challenge with this is that it can be very difficult to treat. Sometimes you can use radiation to certain areas to try to slow it down, but eventually it is something that's very difficult. Mm -hmm. And then the symptoms of this type of cancer, uh, since it results from another type of cancer, I mean, it might make it harder to detect because if you're going through treatment for another type of cancer, you could be feeling not so great. Right, so what you should be looking for are things such as headaches, seizures, weakness in a certain part of your body, loss of bowel and bladder control, and that can be the difficult part of this, is that these symptoms are very nonspecific. Mm -hmm. However, if you have cancer and you're dealing with this, and or if you have cancer and you're dealing with treatment and so forth, and it's not a remission, it's typically something in stage four cancer. So if these symptoms occur, then you should seek attention from your doctor. Dr. Jag, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate the demonstration, too, to help us better understand the type of cancer that she has. Cancer Treatment Centers of America has a special offer for you, our Fox 23 viewers, a free subscription to the quarterly magazine, Cancer Fighters Thrive. Just go to fox23.com, click on the Fox box, and search Cancer Fighters Thrive to sign up.